I'm here to record my setup for Brahma 10, who has helped me get the um, LED feedback working on my MIDI panels, for which I'm very grateful. Um, I've got two panels, the Nectar Pacer, which is here. This is a foot pedal, which is fully configurable. Um, it's uh, pre-configured for um, doors um, where you can use it um, to play, stop, pause and all kinds of other stuff, use your tracks, but it's got multiple modes and so you can go through um, lots of different presets and you can alter uh, lots and lots of presets, so it's very, very versatile. And so the way I've got it currently set up, and this may well change, is that uh, the bottom six buttons are used to select a preset. And the uh, top four um, buttons are used to switch effects on and off. Uh, now that I've got my LED feedback working, what I can now do is I can reassign these so I can change the function on these buttons. So by default, you can go up a bank with um, these two buttons and then these change the function of your bottom buttons which makes it much more versatile because then I can switch six effects um, from these and go back to changing the preset mode with these using one of the top buttons. Um, so rather than having a fixed foot pedal where a switch always does the same thing I can reassign and reallocate them. So that's all going to change, but it is working with the feedback now. And I'll show you in a minute uh, what that means. Uh, this pedal is very extendable. Um, it's got a number of, uh, it's got four relays built in. So if you've got an amp, you can actually use this pedal to change the channels or other things on your existing amp rather than use the factory default pedal uh, board that comes with the amp. Um, I've got two expression pedals plugged in. You can add four more foot switches that you can plug in here. So in fact, if your amp comes with a foot switch, you can probably plug it in here and um, uh, use the advanced features that it has. So you can have switches as sequences. So it does a number of things or it does something on the first click, something different on the second click, something different on the third click, or you can have them as toggles. Um, very, very versatile. Um, the expression pedals, it's quite universal, so it will take your existing expression pedals or you can use theirs. Um, I've used a couple of M Gear expression pedals uh, just because they were cheaper. Um, and as a nice benefit, the display here will show you the exact uh, MIDI channel that it's using and the output as well. So lots of great feedback from there. Um, now on my PC I use a, a Microsoft Surface Pro uh, 3 and which is an older laptop. Um, I picked this up second hand. Um, I uh, saw a mate of mine with one and I thought that's actually quite nice which is unusual for me because I try and stay away from Microsoft things because they were quite adverse to Linux, which is my favorite operating system at open source. Although that's changed recently with regards to Microsoft, but this is a nice piece of kit. Um, under Ubuntu uh, Studio 18, I had to custom compile a kernel to get some of the functions working like the touchscreen and wireless and other things. Now I've just gone to Ubuntu 2004 um, the latest long-term release, uh, also studio uh, version, and that is working really, really well. Uh, straight out of the box, uh, no need to custom compile kernels or anything else. The Wi-Fi is a little iffy, but typically when I use it for uh, guitar modeling, I don't want it on any network. Um, so I, I don't really care about that. I can man manually fiddle with it to get it working if and when I want to run updates or if and when I want network connectivity on this laptop. This is my guitar work um, workhorse and uh, I don't do anything else on this. So just to talk you uh, through this, I'm just gonna start screen recording on here. 
and um, minimize that. And so how I currently set this up, and I'm sure I can automate this uh, much, much more. Um, and I've had to change my workflow slightly because the application that I used to use is no longer uh, available on the um, uh, on the current version of Ubuntu Studio. Uh, but the advice that they have is to use Carla for your um, patch panel. And that gives me a graphical patch bay. And so if I change the canvas to external, there you can see that I've got by default a whole lot of stuff already set up. Um, and this is uh, very nice now under uh, these current versions of software. So if I unplug, for example, one of my um, uh, uh, one of my MIDI control panels that I use to set up my effects, if I unplug that, you'll see that there are um, outputs that disappear and inputs that disappear. I plug it in, it's plug and play. I don't have to do anything with that. Um, the one thing I need to look at is whether my patches can survive a plug-in and an unplug, which would be very nice to have if on stage I have to move my equipment um, and somebody accidentally unplugs something, I would want to go back to the way it was when it's plugged in again. So I'm hoping I can get there. But as of yet, I'm new to the latest versions of software here. Um, and so what we do is we take my pacer, plug it into the um, GuitarX headamp. By default, this is plugged into my system. And for my system audio, I use an old Mbox 2. Um, and I picked this up off eBay. Um, it's got a high, uh, high Z input, which for guitars is uh, very nice to have. So a high impedance input. It's got two inputs. Um, with pad um, DI included and two outputs, um, 24 bits, I think it's 96 kilohertz. Um, and uh, so it gives me everything I currently need. And the reason I was able to pick this up for cheap was that this device is no longer supported under Windows. On Linux, it's built into the kernel, so I don't need to install any drivers, plug and play. So it's great, you can pick up old kit of Windows users because they don't want it anymore and it works perfectly fine on Linux. So carrying on with my patching, I patch the output back into the pacer and I'm gonna plug my launch control in as well. I'm also gonna plug in the output back into launch control. The output is important here for the LED feedback. So if I didn't need the feedback, all I needed to do would be to plug in my MIDI devices into GuitarX. Um, which is represented here as a GX underscore head underscore amp. And the effects pedal or the effects side of GuitarX is a single audio output. And then I've got a stereo output back to the system. Now system here is my Mbox 2 um, under 1804. Um, Ubuntu Studio, I would actually see the Mbox represented under that name. Um, but here, because you plug a USB device in, I think the assumption is that um, that would then be the main system input and output. I still have the PCH um, in an output, which is, I think, my laptop input and output. So I could use my laptop audio if I wanted to uh, in this patch bay. I don't use the Carla bit here. Um, and that is my patching done here. Now, I've got a couple of um, effects presets uh, set up here. And I've assigned um, the uh, first effects, the on and off buttons here, to the various um, controls that I have. So this one is for the sustainer. MIDI controller number one, which sits under uh, this foot switch, is number one. And I've got that set up as toggle parameter type on off states transition toggle. And what that does is if I push my foot pedal here, you'll see that that sustainer turns on and off. Now, 
the light on my foot pedal is not set by the foot pedal. It is set by Guitarix. So if I click on Guitarix here on that pedal, I can see that light go on and off on my foot pedal. Now that is the important thing that was recently added to Guitarix. Previously, on the foot pedal, I would have to have the foot pedal control what the light output was, irrespective of what Guitarix had. And I then had to make sure that it wasn't a, a trigger on the foot pedal, it had to be a toggle. And that would mean that if the effect was off on in Guitarix, but it was um, off on my foot pedal, I, I wouldn't be able to tell unless I looked at both to verify that it was the same. Now, on stage, you don't want to look at the laptop. You want to have that in presentation mode. And ideally, you just want to look at your foot pedal and know what state it is in. And so what I had to do was to double tap everything, which meant that I turned the effect on and then I turned it off to ensure that it was off. That's the way I would know for certain whether it was on, on or off. Now, all I need to do is look at the foot pedal. So if I change to another effect, and you'll see on screen that the effects change the defaults that are on. So here I've got the first one on, the second one is off, the third one is on. And so on the foot pedal, you can see that this one is on, that one is off, that one is on again. My first preset, you'll see that on the computer, my state is top down, chorus is on, detune is off, tremolo is off. I'll now go to my second preset, and sustainer is off, duck delay is off, and chorus mono is on. And you'll see that the pedal board represents that exactly, which is absolutely lovely. And uh, that's exactly the way I wanted it to. So Brahma 10, thank you. Thank you very much. This is absolutely great and lovely to have. And so my foot pedals here, you can see that um, one of my foot pedals here controls the volume. Um, I've got another one that I don't think is used on this profile. Now, the other setup I've got, and this has made Guitarix a lot more versatile for me because I don't necessarily like mousing around my laptop to fiddle all the little buttons when I'm trying to get a sound about right. And so I invested it in another um, uh, controller which is a Novation launch control. Um, it's a lovely uh, board. The only problem I have with it is that to configure this I need Windows and I've tried to configure it on Windows but the software is so old it just crashes. I've tried configuring it on a Mac but the latest Mac doesn't support 32-bit software anymore. Lo and behold their configurer is 32-bit. There are no real options to configure this on Linux that I have found. I'm still looking. Uh, there is a piece of software that might be viable, uh, but I still need to look into that. Um, it's got eight factory uh, presets. It's got eight configurable user presets, and there's little LEDs underneath them. And those LEDs you can turn on and off, and you can change the color on them. So what I'm hoping to do is to change the color depending on what uh, level these buttons are set at. Um, there's sliders, they were important for me as well because it would easily allow me to um, set the presence or the volume of a certain effect. Um, and then there's buttons at the bottom, again I was hoping to be able to turn effects on and off with those. So that should allow me to do pretty much what my foot pedal does and a lot more but at home when I'm trying to build my sound. It will give me buttons that I can tweak and twiddle with you know, the haptic feedback of grabbing something and turning it and seeing where it's at rather than having to uh, look at my screen. So if I um, take my first fader here, that's my amplifier output. So the other problem with the uh, Novation launch control is, is that the LED feedback isn't the same signal as what it sends. 
it expects a custom signal back. Um, so in order to do that, I'm going to probably have to use a MIDI router to take the output from GuitarX and convert it to what the launch control expects. Uh, not something I can blame GuitarX for, not their fault, does everything I wanted to do. It's just the quirk of the launch control and probably an issue with using some of the cheaper hardware that's out there. Very nice, but not necessarily that expensive. And um, um, yeah, so there we go. So that in hardware is my setup. Um, allows me to control the um, uh, the various aspects of the um, the amplifier. So there we have my setup. Foot pedal that I use on stage, a control board that I use to actually build my presets. Um, for those who are critical and who are looking at my presets, um, uh, it's very much trial and error what I'm doing. I'm in no way perfectly happy with all the things that I'm doing. I'm very much learning, but I'm enjoying the journey and um, of um, of learning how I can make different sounds with my guitar. The one thing I haven't talked about yet is my guitar. I've got a lovely um, Blade uh, and Levinson uh, guitar. This is uh, my little baby. Um, I managed to get this because in fact my um, Squire, my first electric guitar that I loved and adored was stolen. And so with the money from the insurance that I got, I managed to pick this one up, which was a little baby that was being neglected in somebody's cupboard. So second owner, but limited edition. And again, very, very versatile. So that's my setup. That's my kit. Hope you like the video, Brummer. Thank you.